we'll look at setting up an application policy to allow voice traffic to always take the best performing available path based on the solution's ability to monitor real-time measurements of WAN conditions. The default out-of-the-box operation of the SD-WAN solution is to protect voice over IP traffic above all else. It immediately gets associated with the highest priority quality of service class available. The system's default behavior is to deliver any voice over IP traffic across the overlay in duplicate path transmit mode, which provides users the highest call quality. The recommendation would typically be to leave this mode of operation. However, for the purposes of this demonstration, rather than utilizing both available paths simultaneously to duplicate the voice over IP traffic, we are creating a custom application to deliver the voice traffic utilizing the load balance path traffic policy. In doing so, we are limiting the delivery of low bandwidth voice over IP traffic to be delivered across a single path. And by associating the policy with the highest priority real-time transfer type, the system will always choose the best available path based on real-time measurements of WAN conditions. We can demonstrate these results by first generating 500 kilobits per second of voice traffic between the data center site and one of the branch office sites. Let's look at the real-time measurement of the available WAN paths. Retrieving the latest WAN path data from the branch device, we can see the unidirectional path measurements available between the sites. The first two rows represent measurements of paths from the branch to the data center, and the bottom two rows represent the paths from the data center to the branch. Based on the current conditions seen, the MPLS link is the best performing path at this time with 10 millisecond latency and 0% loss, whereas the internet link being measured is 40 millisecond latency with 0.2% loss. From the active usage of the WAN link, we can see that the 500 kilobits per second of voice is being delivered across the better measured MPLS path whereas the reported usage of the other paths is a low amount of synthetic traffic being used to provide real-time measurement of the quality of the available paths. We can further confirm the selected delivery path of the voice traffic by retrieving the flows table for the branch site. Here we can see that our target traffic is being delivered across the MPLS path, which we saw in the previous report to be the best performing available path based on real-time measurements. Let's now alter the WAN conditions by increasing the MPLS latency to 60 milliseconds and the loss to 0.2%. Based on the latest conditions, the internet link is now the best performing path at this time with 40 milliseconds latency and 0.2% loss, whereas the MPLS link is being measured at 60 millisecond latency. From the active usage of the WAN links, we can see that the 500 kilobits per second of voice is being delivered across the internet path now. We can further confirm the delivery path of the voice traffic by looking at the flows table. Here we see that our target traffic is being delivered across the internet path, which as we previously saw is now the best performing path available. This confirms our desired behavior.